Oh yeah, here's something I've been learning about Notan. Notan is a Japanese word referring to the structure of light and dark shapes in your painting. You can think of it as the foundation that everything gets built on, or the skeleton of your painting. I see it time and time again that the paintings which draw your eye and have a lot of impact are the ones which have really strong Notan design. Can you see how these paintings have a strong, interesting Notan design? They all have an interesting balance of light and dark. So the structure of these paintings is really just an appealing abstract design. This design doesn't just happen by accident. It's usually all planned out before anything else happens. And I see too many beginners skip right over this because they just want to dive right into the painting. And what I've been finding out though is that it's actually really fun to get right down to the core of the painting before I start. Here's how I do it. I used to use pencil but now I use either paint or these Tombow brush pens. These pens can give you a really nice flat solid color which is hard to achieve with pencil and uh, you can use them on the side for a, a really broad stroke or just the tip for a fine fine line and applying different pressure gives you a calligraphic stroke. So basically I'll squint at my subject uh, reducing it to its major dark and light shapes and do a quick very small sketch with the pen. It's important to keep it small and quick so you can do a lot of different variations in a short time. Sometimes when I need a bit of inspiration I'll uh, just get out the paint and start playing like this uh, just putting down interesting shapes. I'm not even looking at a subject just playing with shapes and seeing what interesting marks I can make in this area. And you just look to see what it suggests to you. This could be some people walking along a waterfront with buildings behind, um, or just, you know, turn it around on its side and see what else it suggests. It's a great way to switch your brain over into that artistic mode where you're just creating. like watching one of those Rolf Harris paintings where uh, you're waiting for him to put in the final strokes to see what it's going to reveal but uh, actually I've got no idea so it's just you know interesting to play with it's neat to watch isn't it if you are going to introduce some white into it uh, it's a good idea to just keep it pure white, not mix any greys into it because uh, you're trying to keep it as simple as possible. This is the skeleton, remember. This is the bones of your painting. If you use just brushes all the time, then uh, you're only ever going to end up with brush strokes. But uh, if you use a palette knife or anything that um, is different than a brush, you're going to end up with different marks that, that you just can't achieve with just the brush. Um, you know, so this one I'm using a palette knife. I'll, I'll use my finger here as well, and um, just keeps it interesting. The more abstract and loose your marks are, the more room there is for your brain to interpret different things into it. This is just one of the things I've learned about using no tan in my paintings. There's a lot more I don't have time to show you right now, but you can see it for yourself at the online Robinson Painting Academy. They even show you how to analyze your own paintings like this on the computer so you can really see clearly if you do need to do some work on your Notan design. I really recommend you taking a look at this course because it's the best one that I've been able to find on the internet and uh, I've been looking for you know over 10 years now. There is a lot of rubbish out there but this one is excellent. In fact, it's so good that I decided to team up with the artist who, who created this course and help him market it online. So now you can get this at my own website, which is www.robinson.painting-academy.com. I'm still working through the course myself, um, and it is really good. So hopefully I'll see you over there.